Hello there. Uh, I wanted to take this video to show you how to retrieve a device from a system with a weighted climber strand. So in this scenario, the climber has fallen and perhaps they can't get back onto the rope. Perhaps they're injured and I have to do some sort of further rescue system in order to get down to them in order to get back to the ground safely. So this is mainly the first step, but by being able to retrieve a device from the system, you're actually able to do many different uh, rescue systems beyond that point because you have your basic tool with you, which is an ATC. First thing I'm going to do is grab my cord. This is why I always carry around cord with me. This is uh, roughly like 20 feet of 6 mil cord. And I already have it uh, split in half, so I'm going to take the middle part. I'm going to put any sort of friction hitch. Uh, you want either a climb heist or a pressing hitch. I'm going to use a climb heist. Maybe that'll be enough for apps right there. There we go. And then I can even check if that's biting, which it is. I'll take out another locking carabiner. It really helps to have a parabiner on this one. And I'm going to clip it into my master point. Now I'm going to tie off both strands of my uh, cord with a Munter mule knot. You can always refer to the knots video on how to tie that. And an alternative way to tying off the Munter hitch instead of putting the overhand on is you can just pass the tails through. There we go. Slide this down a bit. Now I gotta introduce a little bit of slack into this system. And what I can do is I can ratchet the beaner that has the rope into it. And you see how now my climber strand is loose. I'm going to keep this on at the moment because if you know your rescue systems, you never want to put full weight of a climber onto one friction hitch. So before I take this off, I'm going to actually take another pair beaner right here. Helps to have a Munter compatible beaner. In fact, that's recommended. And I'm going to do, with the brake strand of my rope, I'm going to tie a Munter hitch. Clip that in, lock the carabiner down. Now, while maintaining good brake hand control, I'm going to pop my, the rope out of my ATC, and I can pull all the rope in. There you go. I can actually take this moment to take my ATC out of the system. There you go, just to keep everything clean. And so now I have my ATC with those two locking carabiners. I'm going to pull that rope in as tight as I can get it. I'm going to then tie off the winter hitch with a mule knot. There we go. Now that this is tied off and backing up my cord, I can actually transfer my uh, injured climber's weight onto this knot. And what I'm gonna do is just untie the mule hitch and lower out the climber on the cord. There we go. There you go, now you can see it's completely loose and I can take this off if I want. And now my climber is back on baseline. And then from here I can do any number of different transfers. Uh, I could leave this cord on uh, and then do use that later in any sort of rescue scenarios. But essentially, the main thing that I've done is I've retrieved my ATC from the system. And now I have a lot of freedom as to what I want to do in terms of rescuing my injured climber. So, thank you for watching.